Hey everyone, back today with a nice versatile fly that I like to fish on a river and the lake. And that's just a very simple orange beaded black streamer. So black marabou for the tail. Let's tie that one in. I've got a nice short shank hook here. It's a Dohiku 303 today. It's a nice unique form, this hook. Just gonna tie that marabou forward. It'll just help build up part of my body as well. So a little marabou tail there. I might add a little bit more into that. Can always strip it out later. Okay, marabou tail there as I'm tying it, just lifting it up so you keep that marabou on top of the hook there. Put a couple of uh, wraps behind it so it doesn't foul on me. Now I'm just gonna put some um, it's midge flash, it's very small crystal flash in for the tail. I'll tie that in like so. It's just, as I said, a very versatile fly here. This is a very, it's just such a handy fly for me because I have it in my lake box and if I come to a river and it's dirty, I can just whack it on uh, and catch them on the river on it as well. The key feature here, um, I guess, is the bead. So I'm uh, gonna tie in some red wire here for the body, uh, sorry, for the rib. But as I said, remember the key feature here is the orange bead. So don't stress the body and all that stuff too much. Like you could probably just leave it like that and it would still get eaten. Uh, that's the wrong. Dubbing. So now I've got the red wire ribbon there. I've just got some Hens Peacock Spectra dubbing. Again, I'll put in the description uh, the materials. I'll link it below this video. So if you, you touch it down, you'll be able to, to uh, find all the details there. I actually really got into this fly for the first time at the Worlds in uh, Italy. It's a fly I'd always had in my box, but I'd never had amazing success until I used it on the rivers over there and, uh, and the lakes. Okay, I'm gonna leave a bit of space there at the front. You'll see why in a sec. Wind this rib forwards, probably don't even need the rib, but it looks kind of nice. Um, it looks nice to me even. It looks a bit ugly now, I know, but that's when I'm gonna grab some Velcro. Let's lock that down there. Just jiggle this off. And I'm actually just going to brush out, like tease out some of this spectra dubbing here. Just fills out the body a bit and it comes out really nicely when you just give it a brush out I'm using a hat because um, it's the only Velcro I could find. But you see teasing it out there, it looks quite nice. And it'll continue to uh, get teased out as you catch some fish on it too. Now, very uh, European influence here on me because I've been liking it more and more and more throughout my fishing career. Tying in um, CDC hackle at the front. This is just a dark natural hackle, uh, sorry, CDC feather. I like, uh, I've tied this fly like with black, but I just seem to, I like it um, with the alternative CDC color because it just gives that, just gives the fly a slightly different look. It gives it like, it's almost an extra tone to the fly. Let's come off there, grab him again. Yeah, having the um, the alternative like color of the hackle just gives it a nice little bit of contrast. It looks quite cool. As I said, very uh, it's a very Czech-like thing to do to tie, <laughs> have a natural colored CDC or something, or hairs here tied into a fly everywhere. looking there good I don't want too much like you'd be amazed at how a little bit of it makes a big difference a little bit of CDC and now I'm just gonna finally and loosely dub in a little bit more peacock dubbing at the front here and that'll encourage the CDC back as well
like so. How are we looking there? Yeah, that's nice. Now I'm just going to get my uh, super glue here. Bit on the thread. You've probably seen me do this before if you've watched any of my other streamer or nymph videos. I'm just going to pop a couple of wraps in there and a half hitch. That super glue is going to bind the thread together really nicely. And uh, that'll last longer than the orange bead, painted orange bead will when it chips and gets eaten by fish. So there you go. Nice. Uh, Oh, it's a bit annoying. It's got a little bit of a uh, peacock across the bee, which makes it look not as nice, which would make no difference at all. But there we go. Nice, like simple, easy, neat little fly. Like I said, use it on the lake. The orange bead's the key. Don't stress too much about the body, but this is how I do like to tie it. Um, yeah, hopefully um, find some flies like it in your local shop or uh, tie some yourself and hopefully you catch some lovely fish on this. Thanks guys.